Welcome back. So today we're going to see the DuckDuckGo AI chat, which is very easy to get into. You don't need an account. You can also use it uh, with Tor browser, and it's uh, what I'm going to do now. So you just need to, um, to go on DuckDuckGo.com. And here I have the search bar, so I can search for anything I want. Let's try ChatGPT. See here, it's uh, the Onion version of DuckDuckGo. See, you have all the tabs here, and this one is the chat tab, and it's uh, the one with the DuckDuckGo chat. So here's what happens. It says, um, say hello to DuckDuckGo AI chat. And you have the choice between uh, OpenAI uh, ChatGPT 3.5 and Claude, which is an entropy chat model. So you click here and get started. Uh, you select uh, ChatGPT. Of course, you have to agree here to the terms of use, and you're ready to go. So I use sometimes I use this one to help me to code faster instead of going uh, on Stack Overflow and or on on Google Search, etc. This one is a little bit faster. Of course, sometimes the results are not uh, correct, and so you need to to think a little bit how to fix them. But for simpler things, it's uh, probably faster than going through through the searches and uh, especially if, if something is simple but you don't know it yet it's kind of uh, it's useful because it introduces you to the to the subject for example you can ask uh, I ask this uh, Python question she is also quite fast sometimes it's even faster than this you can uh, ask follow-up questions. It's not like uh, the other video with Pisa GPT where its question was unrelated, where its um, answer was unrelated to the next. This one remembers the context, and so that's a good thing. See, it's, uh, yeah, this one is very fast. Of course, uh, you need to check. Uh, this is not what I had in mind, but about this answer, I mean. Anyway, after you've done with your chat, you can uh, click here the clear conversation button because uh, you have a, like a limit of num the number of uh, interactions you can do. Then you are required to click the button and see it. everything is reset. Let's try this one. Okay. Yeah, okay, this one was it's a very easy script. Uh, for example, I can ask him about the exceptions. Driver, okay. Yeah, okay, no such element exception. Yeah, of course, one needs to check if the if these exceptions really exist. You can, of course, check the documentation of the software you're using. But yeah, the main idea is that it's very, coding this way is very fast, of course. It may introduce some wrong, uh, some wrong workflow and some wrong ideas, but you need to check everything. So yeah, I just wanted to show you this um, DuckDuckGo chat thing. Let's see this one. Okay, let's try the prompt here. Yeah, see they're both very fast. Let's try this one, okay. This one worked. Let's copy it and try the other one. Yeah. Yeah. This um, this uh, method here, I think, is not available anymore in on recent versions of uh, Selenium. There's just a find element, so yeah, you need to be careful about what is. Uh, of course, like I always said, you have to be careful about what is um, written by these uh, chatbots. But this one is uh, nice because you don't have to log in. You can use it via via Tor. See here the the Onion URL. 
as long as you don't put anything uh, sensitive in here, you're, I won't say you're 100% safe about privacy, but you're certainly safer than uh, going through your normal web browser. It's of course faster than uh, the self-hosted solution if you use the CPU, but as an alternative, it's fine. I guess to just to code is fine. But yeah, that's it for this brief video and thanks for watching and bye bye.